Thousands of people gathered at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery Saturday morning for an important tradition, Wreaths for the Fallen. We're very fortunate, uh, Wreaths for the Fallen, a nonprofit out of Baxter, Minnesota. Uh, they raise money every year through private donations, and then they place a wreath at every headstone at the cemetery. Earlier that morning, three semi-trucks arrived filled with Christmas wreaths. Over 5,000 wreaths were laid today, sponsored by families from all over the country. The memorial wreaths are made possible through donations by family and friends of fallen veterans. We get contributions from every state, including Hawaii and Alaska. And I've talked to some couples up in Alaska, too, and they, they, they just express their feelings how wonderful it is to know that their son is going to be honored today. The event brought out families of fallen veterans and also those who just wanted to show their support. Our parents are, are buried out here. It's just a great thing to see how many people really honor the veterans in the area and they may not have anybody out here and they still honor them. Wreaths for the Fallen started in 2006 when 50 wreaths were placed at the cemetery. And that increased to 100 and then 200 and each year it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The project offers families who may live across the country or close by to honor their fallen veteran. I think it's important um, more that we just don't forget our veterans. Not, not that we have, but it's just one more way to show how much we appreciate the veterans. Uh, but also for the families, I think it's important. We, we do get a lot more visitors around certain holidays, uh, especially around Christmas. So it's just nice for them to come out and be able to, to recognize the, their family members. Through Weeks for the Fallen, veterans will always be remembered and celebrated. Reporting from Little Falls with this week's Community Spotlight, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News.